people. There's a statue of the Virgin Mary that appears to be crying tears inside a Reading shop. Nine News reporter Janelle Walton was inside the shop. Janelle, what did you see? Brendan, in the back of the small shop is a statue of Mother Mary. It looks like she is weeping. There are two teardrops on her face. The statue of Mother Mary crying inside Our Lady Queen of Reading Religious Lending Library is bringing tears to some visitors' eyes. I believe it's true. Uh, they were there. I mean, I saw them. They were actually true. It's true. And, and it's more than I would imagine it's a miracle. Our cameras were not allowed inside, but visitors snapped photos of the Virgin Mary. You can see two teardrops on her face. One rests on her chin, the other on her cheek. There is another statue of Jesus sitting at the top of the stairs with tears falling from its eyes. I heard about it on the radio and didn't think much of it. And then being here at work, we saw the lineup of people. And curiosity, I went over and looked. And it's unbelievable. It's forming. The, idea, the tears there. It does not look like it's been water or anything. It's just, it's, it's real weird. Very weird. Most want to believe what they see. Well, I have faith that it is. And, you know, I'm not, um, we can't always be sure. But I prayed to her. And I feel better about it. And I'm glad I came. There are more visitors arriving every day as word spreads about the crying statues. We're told the owner wanted to keep it a secret for fear the statues would stop crying. Others say they believe the tears are a sign of hope. They believe it should be shared with the community. You hear about it in other countries. And then it's like here in Reading, I mean, of all places. But yeah, it is, it is a miracle. I think it is. I think something will come of it, hopefully. Something good. While at the shop, I heard several stories about the tears. Some say they started to form about a week ago when a visionary visited the library. Someone else said they started after a rosary, which belonged to Reverend James Willick, who died nearly 10 years ago, was placed in her hands. Whatever is causing the tears is bringing smiles to many people's faces. Tanya.